The um, data that came out about the Daiichi Trope 2 ADC DS1062 was particularly exciting. Um, so we saw data looking at patients who had metastatic triple negative breast cancer and saw over a 40% response rate in heavily pretreated patients. And, you know, I think it was equally exciting to see that a couple of these patients had actually received prior sasituzumab and to see that the toxicity profile was actually very manageable, um, you know, with the major toxicity predominantly being mucositis and fatigue, but not really seeing issues with things like neutropenia or diarrhea, and actually no adjudicated cases of interstitial lung disease. Um, obviously, this data set was very small with just you know, 24 patients uh, in the cohort, um, and we'll need to see data from larger data sets and with follow up to see what the progression free survival will be. But I think this is really very, <clears throat> excuse me, very exciting because. You know, it is suggesting that this is another ADC that um, could really Im dramatically improve outcomes for our patients. Um, and I think it'll be interesting to also see if it can even work post another trope 2 ADC such as sasituzumab. Um, so I think a lot more to come uh, with that agent.